Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. My name's Aaron and today I'm going to be making a video about my health and my struggle with addiction, uh, recovery and how my health has gone from rock bottom to almost dying to thriving um, and I believe it's all down to a plant-based diet and I want to share it with you and I hope you enjoy. Hi guys, um, so I just wanted to do a video um, just talking about my experience. Um, so I haven't really scripted this, so I'm just going to start at the beginning. So basically I was eating rubbish, fast food, uh, drinking too much, binge drinking, um, not eating properly, not really thinking about my health. Um, although I had periods in my life where I was really healthy, going to the gym, really looking after my health. Um, there were periods when it was really bad and then say about probably about 10 years ago was when it really went downhill. Every time I went out I would have a glass of wine which ended up being a bottle and I would have um, too much food and then the next day I wouldn't feel great and I wouldn't eat at all. I, I was living a life of excess uh, but all the wrong things. I had a full-time job, a very very stressful busy job where I was on my feet probably about 10 hours a day if not more and then coming home walking my dogs and over uh, it, it started off gradually that I didn't feel very well um, headaches I was bloated tired and then um, I became weak in my legs and I was vomiting quite a bit in the morning and I couldn't keep food down so and I wasn't hungry so I wouldn't eat but I would still um, have a drink in the evenings and one glass would lead to two, two would lead to three then I'd finish the bottle and, and then the next day I, I would do the same thing so basically over a period of probably about a year I would felt really ill um, as you can see from the pictures my ankles had swollen I could barely walk I used to go into work and act as normal as I could come home and crawl up the stairs um, because I had no energy, crawl into bed, used to crawl out of bed, take me about five minutes to get my legs working. Um, it turns out this was because I had uh, kidney damage and a kidney infection. Um, I'd ignored it for so long and my the blood flow to my legs had almost been cut off. Um, so I wasn't getting blood flow to my legs. My kidneys weren't working, so it wasn't. They weren't getting the rubbish out of my body. My liver wasn't working properly. So basically, I had all this, these toxins and not getting the right vitamins and too much alcohol and stress uh, and all this stuff going through my body um, and not being dealt with like your liver, as, liver and kidneys should do as as normal. So in 2012, on the 11th of August, I went to a party um, where we were camping out for the evening, myself and my partner. Um, I wasn't supposed to be drinking because I hadn't felt very well, but it was a social event. Like most people, you have a drink and it was a late night one, so I drank a lot. Went to bed, uh, woke up in the morning, remember feeling very unwell, um, had a horrible like metallic taste in my mouth and um, that was the I think it's the iron uh, the metals in the blood that were in my system um, basically what had happened where my I'd damaged my body so much that my liver um, had started to not be able to process the blood flow so where blood was pumping from through my heart around my body meant to be going through my liver and my liver would process it and my body would get rid of the toxins. My liver couldn't, couldn't keep up so it was backing up and by backing up it was causing a huge amount of pressure in my throat, in my esophagus and what had happened that night was it was strange that it was so many, I think it was, it was seven or eight, I think it was seven veins in my esophagus had actually ruptured and just burst open so literally my heart was pumping blood around my body, my liver couldn't process it, so it was just pumping down my throat into my stomach. Um, and I woke up that morning, could taste this taste, thought I'm going to be sick. I've been sick almost every morning for about a year, 
so I didn't think too much about it. Um, and when I was sick, it was blood. Um, instantly, my heart dropped, and I was very worried. Thought, you know, I got an ulcer or something, or it's, you know, mal a, a, or a tooth had bled, and I'd swallowed some blood. And then I was sick again. And then I got home, went to bed, and woke up. Thought I'd feel all right. And then I thought, no, I'm going to be sick again. Went to the toilet and was sick, and it was just blood. And then I was sick again, and that's when I said to my partner, I need to go to hospital. And I realised it was serious. I was then sick a few times in the car. And got to the hospital, went to A&E, sat in the reception, um, was sick again and again. And then they bought me a, a tray to be sick into because they wanted to see how much blood I was vomiting. And then after about five minutes, I was rushed into A&E, woke up um, the next day and was told... I was lucky to be alive and that my body was was uh, shutting down and that it wasn't very hopeful. Luckily they saved me, they gave me medication to slow down my blood pressure and slow down my heart so that my liver could compensate. I was on steroids, water tablets, uh, high amounts of vitamins. Um, blood pressure pills, pills for detoxing, pills for anxiety, um, I can't even remember. I was on about, I think, 11 pills twice a day. I was in hospital for two weeks and uh, every day for the first few days I was told it was not good. Uh, they were taking blood, they were coming back and saying, it's getting worse, it's getting worse. I'd gone yellow, I was swollen, I was um, seriously ill. Uh, I thought I could walk, but I couldn't. I'd lost all use of my legs. And I was, uh, you know, bed bound. Um, it was literally the worst moment of my life. And so, after about four days in the hospital of thinking I was dying, they came back to me and they said, "Your body blood test has shown small signs of improvement." So I was like, "Phew." And I kept in a very positive frame of mind that I wasn't going to die, I was going to get better. Um, I was even um, reading a book that I bought before I went into hospital about vitamins and how vitamins help the body. So of course I was looking up things that I could eat or vitamins I could take that would um, heal me. And um, after two weeks um, I was discharged. I had to go for counselling. I had to... Um, go to rehab for two weeks, every day for two weeks. Basically, at the time I was vegetarian, so I think partly that did help me with me heal, because I think if I was eating meat, it would have been a slower process, so I wouldn't have healed at all. And there's a lot of research that I'll put up somewhere that someone's told me about how meat affects the liver. And then, anyway, so I had to go to the doctors uh, a lot, hell of a lot for biopsy, for blood tests, for scans and they have to check that I'm not bleeding again, they have to check for cancer, for tumours on my liver, um, they have to check my kidneys are working, um, they have to check my liver function, lots of different things, uh, they have to check my well-being. So when I came out of hospital uh, it was strange because I didn't have the crutch of doing what I would normally do of drinking or eating rubbish or staying up late watching TV, not caring about sleep. I knew that these all these things that I'd done, I had to stop. So it was very difficult to get my life back on track. But I did it. I did it slowly. But the whole reason I'm telling you is because I want to help people. And my diet most certainly has helped because when I went to the doctors, to, to the hospital for my checkups, Gradually my health improved, steadily, over over four years. And then when I went vegan, I'd been vegan for six months, I went for my checkup, and I remember the doctor looked at me and said, wow, what, what have you been doing? And I, I said, sorry, and he, he said, you're looking well, your skin's clearer, you've lost two stone, you know, have you been on a diet? And I said, well, yeah, but I'm not eating less, I'm eating more, but I'm vegan. And he said, oh, no, 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 you, don't be vegan, it's not healthy, I don't recommend a vegan diet. And I thought, well, you've just said all these positive things. 
Anyway, he looked at my blood test and he said the results are better than ever. My liver function was almost perfect. However, there was long-term damage, but my liver was compensating. Everything else in my body was fine. So that was partly why I went vegan was, I've always said, was originally for health reasons. Because of being vegetarian, I thought I was being kind to animals. Um, obviously, now I know that's not true. Um, vegetarian diet is as cruel to animals as a, as a meat-eating diet. And so veganism gave me something where, gave me something to focus on. Gave me to focus on my health, the animals, and more recently everything going on with the environment. So the planning and the cooking, finding out about new foods, my Instagram account and YouTube and things, keep me focused, keep me away from negative things like drinking, um, they help build my confidence because I've been to dinner, invited to dinners in restaurants, I've met a lot of people through social media. Uh, before, when I would go out, I'd have a glass of wine uh, before going out, have a glass of wine in the bath, glass of wine while I'm getting ready, another one before I leave, of course you go out, another glass of wine and before you know it you've lost track of how much you've drunk. Um, I couldn't do that anymore, so I had to just go out there and be me. That's, that's all I could ever be, because I had to be. But it's great, because when you go out now, you, you're you honest, you see everything that's going on, and you see all the people getting drunk, and you, of course the next day you're not hungover, you feel fine, um, you saved money, and you can tell everyone about what a fool they've made of themselves. So anyway, going back to my health, so I had my blood test after six months, he said, come, the doctor said, come back in another six months. And I had another blood test. And before the blood test, I said, can you check my vitamin B levels, my cholesterol, and um, my iron levels, uh, which they did. And they said, all fine, all perfect. Uh, cholesterol was perfect. Blood pressure was perfect. And again, a big improvement in my liver function. Again, kidneys were fine. And what they did was they did a scan called a fibro scan where they put a like a machine a laser on your side and it fires a laser through your liver and it measures the denseness of your liver the stiffness and it will tell you how much damage you've caused uh, this test goes from 0 to 75 0 is perfect i think most people are like one or two which is fine i think anything above 4 to 6 is a worry anything higher than that is you know, looking at fatty liver, uh, cirrhosis, liver disease, etc. So when they did my scan, um, I'd felt good, I was optimistic, and they told me that the score was 75, which my heart sank. Um, so 75 is the worst. 75 is, is the top scale, so it could have been worse than 75. Um, so I said, are they sure? And they said they'd done it twice, and it was 75. Um, so even though I've done all this healing and, and recovery and growing and built up my confidence, I was knocked down thinking it's not good. And it was a big reminder of what a, a mess I've got myself into. A year later, I went back for another fibre scan. Very optimistic. Blood tests were good. I felt even better. Vegetarian I was at the time. And it was the same. So a year later, it was still 75, the worst it could po possibly be. He said, we'll do another one in a year, see how it is. So went back after a year. I'd been vegan for eight or nine months. And he said, your score previously was 75. And I said, is it 75 again? And he said, no, it's 41. And I was shocked. And he said, that's amazing. But he said, that's still really bad. But I was really pleased because for me, if it consistently had been such a bad score, at 75 whilst vegetarian and then for it to almost half when I'd gone vegan I knew that my diet and everything was helping and anyway my last one I was expecting it to be a bit better 33 so it's gone down even more in a year which is amazing and leaves me really hopeful for a next one which will be in a year's time again blood tests fine cholesterol fine uh, liver function fine kidneys fine scans were fine they found nothing but they'd said they'd noticed a real difference in my appearance, in my confidence. And it's all down to 
facing my demons and dealing with it, but partly as well through, the, through a plant-based diet. Um, and oh, one other thing they said about my scan was that I'd had fatty liver deposits. Um, they're now all gone, which to me was amazing because as you, if you watch my food pictures and posts, you see I, I eat fairly fatty foods. I'm not, a, I'm not on a low-fat diet. I try and be as healthy as possible, but I wouldn't say I was a low-fat person. But for me, for my liver to be clear of all fat, fat, fatty deposits, means it can function even more healthily than before. So that again was amazing that I was eating all these foods like burgers, chips and pizzas, but vegan versions, and they weren't having a detrimental effect to my health. So, where I am now is I'm at a point where I want to be honest, I want to be more open. My favourite word at the moment is clarity and the year 2020, perfect vision, clarity, it's, this is where I want to start helping people. My dream one day is to have a cookbook and I think, and what I would want this cookbook to be would be all the meals that I've done um, but highlighting certain ingredients that I feel have really helped me. There's, there's certain things I have daily. Um, like turmeric, coffee, milk thistle, um, always fresh fruit, always fresh vegetables. There's foods I avoid like white flour, um, white pasta, hardly any ready meals. Um, obviously I don't smoke, I don't drink, don't take drugs. Unfortunately I would love to exercise but I can't at the moment because I just get very tired. And also I have to be careful about putting my body under pressure because it's already compensating with everything that's, that's going on at the moment. So what I want to do is help people. I want to help people with addiction, whether it's alcohol, food, uh, smoking. It's all all goes back to the same thing. It's a uh, something within us that we need to balance out and get right. Mine was probably low self-esteem. Alcohol was a confidence booster. Um, I think I had issues with depression and anxiety. Uh, alcohol would help with that. Also, there's this whole thing of not feeling in control of your life. Be my, by me doing, staying up late, drinking, going out, being reckless. That was, in a way, me being in control and feeling like I was in control, where it was a complete opposite. I was out of control. Now I'm in control, as much as I try to be. So I'd love to do a healthy cookbook. I want to help people. Um, I did a cooking demo last year, which I enjoyed. So I want to do more of those. So I want to use this experience of helping others, starting a community within my social media, helping people, not just with what I've been through, but mental health. The whole thing is finding something positive to focus on. For me, it was veganism. I suppose as much as I would love everyone to be vegan, it doesn't have to be that. But for me, definitely eating a plant-based diet has helped massively. I don't think I would be as healthy as I am now if I hadn't been uh, vegan. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll do another video soon and I hope you enjoyed it.